only single bond that means it is saturated so here we will have two carbon atoms now since there are only single bonds so between the two carbon atoms also there will be only one single bond and you will have to fill the rest of the bonds with hydrogen now each of the carbon atoms have a single bond already found with the other carbon atom that means each of the carbon atoms now needs three other bonds so this one will have three hydrogen atoms linked to it and this one will also have three hydrogen atoms linked to it next number 3 n equal to 3 You will have C three H two into three plus two C three H six. Sorry, C three H eight. C three H eight. This is called propane. Prop means three. Prop means three and in propane in for alkane. So this is an alkane with three carbon atoms, all single bonds. So the structure would be something like this. This is this. This is what we call the skeletal structure. This is the main framework of the molecule, the bonding between the carbon atoms. This is what we call the skeletal structure. After that, just fill. so this carbon atom the one at the end has only one other single bond which is which it has formed with the middle one it needs three more bonds the middle carbon atom already has two bonds formed so it will need only two more hydrogen atoms again the corner one here will have three you can count the number of hydrogen atoms it will match up to eight and each carbon atom has satisfied its tetravalency also Next, n equal to four. It is called butane because but means four. Again, it will it will have a formula of put n equal to four. You will get C four H ten. C four H ten. the structure you can easily make it out what the structure would be n equal to 5 that would be pentane pent means 5 just like you name polygons pentagon hexagon heptagon now the naming will go like that pentane hexane heptane we will do only till pentane because till five carbon atoms is written in the syllabus so pentane now the formula of uh, pentane and the structure do it yourself acha next you will do alkenes alkenes ka general formula hota hai cnh2n alkenes cnh2n plus 2 alkenes cnh2n these are unsaturated compounds unsaturated compounds that means they might have double bond as well as single bond alkenes may there is a double bond double bond as well as triple bond so alkenes there is a double bond yeah. 
Now let's uh, see what is going on for one carbon atom. The first alkene. For one carbon atom, you will have C1H2 into 1 that is equal to CH2. This is not possible. One carbon with only two hydrogen, that is not possible. It will not satisfy the tetravalency of the carbon atom. So there is no alkene having only one carbon atom. There is no alkene having one carbon atom only. So the first alkene starts with two carbon atoms. That is C2 H2 into 2. C2H4. Now, this is a structure that can satisfy the tetravalency of the carbon atom. How? Now, there is, as I told you, alkenes will have a double bond. Anyhow. So, there is one double bond between the two carbon atoms. And what will happen now? This carbon already has two bonds. This needs only two hydrogen to form two more covalent bonds for satisfied and the other carbon atom also. This structure satisfies the tetravalency of both the carbon atoms. Okay. Now, what was the prefix for two carbon atoms? As I had told in alkanes, it. it. It was the prefix for two carbon atoms. And here we have an alkene. So the name would be ethene. H for two and E standing for alkene. Next, uh, three carbon atoms. Alkene with three carbon atoms. We have C3H6. Now, alkenes can take double bonds, but that does not mean that the bond between every two carbon atoms will be a double bond. There will be only one, one double bond. Like this. This would be the skeletal structure. The double bond can be on these two carbon atoms as well as on these two carbon atoms. There is no difference between these structure between these two structures when you uh, change the direction from which you see these two structures they will be the same then you just need to fill the rest of the spots with hydrogen C3H6, the formula is satisfied. Propene. So the common name for ethene was ethylene, and the common name similarly for propene was propylene, and for butene was butylene, and so on. Okay, that is one thing. Now Next, we will see butene, the structure of butene, and we will also, through it, understand what is the meaning of isomerism. So, N equal to 4, C4H8, obviously, we get based on the formula CNH2N, and there will be one CC double bond. There will be one CC double bond. Now, the rest of the carbon atoms will be linked by single bonds. And what we need to do is we need to fill this up with hydrogen 
atoms. You will see that the tetravalency of each carbon atom is satisfied, and there are eight hydrogen atoms as in the formula. Right now, there is something special in this case, which we have not seen earlier. I can place the double bond. It's not necessary for me to place the double bond at the end. I can place the double bond in the middle also between any two carbon atoms. Now, go to the page nomenclature. Number one, longest chain rule. You can see the longest chain rule. What is written? The longest continuous chain of carbon atoms is selected as the basic chain on which the numbering of, car of carbon atoms is done. Okay. And the other carbon atoms which are linked to any carbon atom in the main chain, they are treated as branches. Now, why are we saying the longest chain? What is the significance of this? Look at it like this. This is the structure, the skeletal structure. Now, if I take this chain, if I take this chain, this, this has how many carbon atoms? Four. One, two, three, and four. If I take this chain, one, two, three, and four. But if I take this chain, that is why this is the chain which is selected as the basic chain on which the numbering of carbon atoms is now. And then what we will do is, whatever the branch is, so this is the main chain and this will be treated as a branch and it is it will be numbered in that. Okay, now you saw that here there is a CH3 group which is linked. CH3. CH3 is equal to, if I see it, like this, CH3 is equal to CH4 minus one hydrogen, right? CH4 minus one hydrogen, that is CH3. Now, CH4 is the first alkane, if you remember, methane. From any alkane, when we are excluding a hydrogen, that group, this is not a compound by itself, this is just a group. This is called alkyl group. Alkane minus hydrogen is called alkyl group. Alkyl group. These are basic structures, so I'm not doing it separately. I'm doing it through this. You will remember it along with this entire part. It is called alkyl group. CH3 group is called alkyl group. Sorry, uh, it, in general, it is called alkyl group. In particular, it is called, since it is it has been derived from methane, it is called methyl group. It is called methyl group. So alkyl group means the structure of the alkane minus one hydrogen. Now that group itself can be connected to any other carbon atom like it is seen in this structure. Here there is a methyl group, CH3 group, which is connected to the middle carbon atom. So this by itself becomes a replacement for hydrogen sometimes, this group. Now, this carbon atom also, which is present in this methyl, it has its tetravalency satisfied when it connects with another carbon here because it has three hydrogen, three bonds, and this is the fourth. Okay, now ethyl group. What is ethyl? Ethane minus one hydrogen. That is called ethyl. Right? Ethane. What is ethane? Ethane is C2H6. If you see in alkane, ethane was C2H6. So C2H6 minus one hydrogen, that would be C2H5. That would be called ethyl group. So C2H6 minus one hydrogen, that would give us C2H5. Now, let me tell you, this is not a way of actually writing this uh, part. This is just what I am writing to explain, to explain it to you in the most basic way possible. This is not how you will write it in the answer. C2H6 minus hydrogen equal to C2H5. I'm just creating a mathematical equation because you will understand it that way better. 
So C two H six minus one hydrogen that is C two H five. So ethane minus one hydrogen will be called ethyl group. Similarly, C three H seven that is C three H eight minus one hydrogen that will be called propyl group. C four H nine that is C four H ten minus one hydrogen that will be called butyl group and so on. Now you will see in the nomenclature page. The first is the longest chain rule, which I have just explained. Then the numbering of carbon atoms. Now the numbering of carbon atoms has to be done in such a way that whatever is there in the branches that is nearest to the smallest number of carbon atom. Let me give an example in this case. Say this is the structure. and here we have a ch3 group or anything any group except hydrogen any chlorine radical or fluorine radical or bromine or any other atom of any other element would also do except for hydrogen so let's say we have a ch3 group here now we have to start numbering the carbon atoms first that is the rule of naming an organic compound you have to start numbering the carbon atoms from which end should i number the carbon atoms from the left end that is from this or from the right end that is from this from the left end because the left end is nearest to this branch so from here i'll start numbering the carbon atoms 1 2 3 4 now from the skeletal structure we can see that there are only single bonds so it is an alkane and there are five carbon atoms in the main chain so it is pentane right at the second carbon atom there is a methyl group so we will write 2 methyl 2 dash methyl and then the basic part that is pentane just like your own name your name after that your surname that is the family to which you belong that comes at the last and your first name comes first the name by which you are identified so 2 methyl pentane it belongs to the pentane family So pentane will be at the last. The basic structure will be at the last, and then you have the additions in the front. Okay, it's called two methyl pentane. This is the numbering system and the naming system. That is why you have the longest chain rule. That is the first. The first thing is you have to identify the longest chain. That will be your basic chain. The number of carbon atoms in your basic chain will determine uh, the basic structure. And then number two, numbering of carbon atoms. That has to be done. Keeping in mind this. now i go into this in detail again later but this basic thing you will need to remember because now what i come back to is butene we were doing butene i come back to that now so remember in butene there were four carbon atoms and eight hydrogen atoms you have two alternate structures we can place the double bond at any corner now here also the numbering system is such that we start numbering the carbon atoms from the end where the double bond is the nearest so is there any difference between these two structures there is no difference because in this structure i'll start naming i'll start numbering from here in this structure i'll start numbering from here so in both of these structures we can say that the double bond is placed at the first carbon atom so there is no difference between these two but there is a difference if we draw it like this now in this case also we can start numbering from this end also from this end also because in any case you will have the double bond at the second carbon atom from here also 1 2 from here also 1 2 so how will we differentiate between these two structures by name that is very important this will be called 1 butene 1 butene or but 1 in that means the in that is the double bond which signifies the double bond of the alkene that is at the first carbon atom and this will be called 2 butene or but 2 in 
उसमें देखो पोजिशन आइसोमरिज्म पोजिशन आइसोमरिज्म अंडर स्ट्रक्चरल वॉट इज रिटर्न ड्यू टू डिफरेंस इन पोजिशन ऑफ फंक्शनल ग्रुप एग्जाम्पल डबल बॉन्ड सो डू यू अंडरस्टैंड नाउ वॉट इज पोजिशन आइसोमरिज्म आई हैव जस्ट डेमोन्स्ट्रेटेड दैट इंच Now, for n is equal to one, we have C one H two into one minus one, two into one minus two. So this is C one H zero. So this is impossible. So there is no alkyne for n is equal to one. Then we have n is equal to two, C two H two into two minus two. Here we have C two H two. Now there are two carbons and two hydrogens. so between these two carbons there will be a triple bond because alkynes have a triple bond so there will be one hydrogen attached to this carbon like this and the other hydrogen attached to this carbon like this for each carbon the valency of 4 is getting satisfied now this is called ethyne eth for two carbon atoms ine for alkyne so ethyne ethyne is the iupac name the common name is acetylene the common name is acetylene c3h2 3- 2 3- 2, 2, 2 c3h4 this will be the structure p stands sorry uh, prop stands for three so propyne now see i can represent this structure like this also this is called condensed structural formula condensed structural formula the earlier structures that we have done can also be represented like this condensed structural formula and this is called branched structural formula branched structural formula so c4 H two into four minus two. That is C four H six. Fill in the hydrogens yourself. This will also have. Second isomer, right? Name will be butane. Bute stands for four. So this would be. One butane or but one ion, and this would be two butane or but two ion, right? The isomer of uh, butane and pentane. So butane, the structure was CnH two n plus two, where n equal to four. That is C four H ten. right now what was the basic structure this was the basic structure if if i write in condensed form it would be like this ha ah, there can be one isomer of this like this
what would be the name of this the basic chain contains three carbon you can name it from here also from here also 1 2 3 because when we number it so i number it when we number it from either side we have the methyl group at the second carbon so if there were more carbon atoms we would have numbered it based on the fact that the carbon from which the methyl group is uh, branching off that carbon should get the least number but here from both sides it will get two only so we have numbered it anyways so what will the name be so of on the second carbon there is a methyl group so two methyl and the main chain is a saturated chain containing three carbon atoms only single bonds so that is an alkane with three carbon atoms that is the main chain so propane so two methyl propane this structure of butane is also called n butane that is normal butane and this structure is commonly this is the common name i am talking about also called is called isobutane so the iupac name is two methyl propane and the common name is isobutane for the normal structure the common name is n butane whereas iupac name is just butane this is a chain isomer of butane because you can see there is a modification in the chain so this is not a position isomer this is a chain isomer there are two types of isomerism chain isomerism and position isomerism under structural isomerism all right so let's move forward see the chain isomers of pentane so cn h2 n plus 2 n equal to 5 we have c5 h2 into 5 plus 2 So we go to C five H twelve. The normal structure is called n pentane, just like in butane. It's called n butane, and it was like this: the main chain. We had hydrogens. so i'm using the condensed formula so that i don't have to draw the entire structure and show all the bonds now i'll come to isopentane so isopentane just like in the case of butane we have a four carbon main chain and from the second position second position we can take it from either side from the second position we have a methyl group so second position there is a methyl group so two methyl the main chain contains four carbon atoms with only single bonds that means four carbon atoms alkene so the main chain is butane so two methyl butane now there is another isomer of chain chain isomer these are chain isomers now this is like this this is called neo pentane neo pentane i pack name of neo pentane first identify the main chain now we can take this one as the main chain or we can take this one also as the main chain it's not necessary to take the horizontal one as the main chain in any case the answer will be the same so 
So I take this as the main chain and these two methyl groups are there from the second carbon. I, if I, I can name it from either side. Let's say I name it from this side. I number it from this side. So the second carbon atom has two methyl groups. Now, when this kind of a situation is there, where there are two groups from the same carbon atom, they are the same groups, two methyl groups. So we will repeat the position of the carbon atom that many times. That means the two methyl groups are there from the second carbon atom. So we will say two comma two. That means one, two for this one and one, two for this one to indicate that both of them are from the second carbon atom. Two, two after that dimethyl because there are two methyl groups, two, two dimethyl propane. The main chain is propane obviously because there are three carbon atoms in the main chain and all single bonds. So alkane three carbon chain that is propane. So two, two dimethyl propane. Let's say uh, in alkenes, I let me give an example of a chain isomer like butene. We have already seen what the position isomer for butene is one butene to butene. We are, we can also have chain isomers. This is the structure of butene. Just like we did for butane, two methyl propane. Here also we can have two methyl propane. Let's say if you are talking about this, like this, then this entire thing will be taken as one straight chain. So between this and this, there is no difference. 